Okay, we're going to start with building a project using Siemens Step 7. So the first thing that you wanted to do is open the Somatic Manager. And when you do, this screen opens up right here. Do not start using the new project wizard. Go ahead and click Cancel. Alright? And go up here and go File, New. Alright, the first thing that you need to do is give it a name. So let's just call this one Test you're going to want to obviously name it uh, appropriate to whatever task that you're working on at the time. But go ahead, we're going to call this one test 3 and hit OK. Alright, you're going to get to this point. Alright, we got really nothing set up here. So what we need to do is insert a station. Okay, so you're going to go up to insert station. We're going to do the somatic 300 station. Uh, right now, we're gonna, on the 870 trainer, we're going to be using the 314s, and on the troubleshooting trainer, we're going to be using the 315s. So that's why we want to choose the Somatic 300 station. So go ahead and select that, okay, and it'll load. Go ahead and on the left-hand side here next to your program, click the plus sign. Every time you get a plus sign, it'll extend down, all right? But we need to go ahead and set up our hardware now. So we're going to double-click on the Somatic 300. And then we're going to double click on hardware. This is very vital to setting up your project. All right, so since we are using a 300, we're going to go over here on the right hand side of the screen, uh, hit the plus sign. Okay, and it gives us all these different options. All right, the first thing we need to do is actually add a rail. If we don't have a rail, we can't get started. So to add a rail, go over here on the right hand side, click the plus next to rack 300 and you'll see rail. Go ahead and double click rail. Notice it pops the rail open over here in our screen. Now the power supply goes in the first slot. So we need to go over here on the right hand side of the screen. See it has PS300. Go ahead and hit click the plus sign behind there. And for the 314s, we're going to select the PS 3075A, this one that's right here, notice there's two of the same. We are going to select this one, so double click on it, and it's going to load it over to your rail. As it places it over here, notice it goes to the next slot. That's where we have to actually add the CPU. You need to do this in the specific order so it fills it in correctly for you. Now the CPU that we're going to use for our particular uh, PLCs, is over here under CPU 300. Notice I've already expanded it. And you're going to go down to this one that says CPU 314C-2DP. Click the plus sign here. All right, and then you have these options. You're going to go to the folder here that has the 03. Go ahead and click the plus. And we want to have version 2.6. So double click version 2.6. So it's going to fill everything in here for us. It's going to pop open the screen first. It says not network. That's OK right now. Just hit OK. And it'll populate everything in. OK. Lastly, since we are using our Siemens PLCs, and we can look at the I.O. addresses. This is 124 to 126. Those are the starting inputs. And it has the starting outputs is 124, 125. We don't want to work with those. Our stations and all of our inputs and outputs aren't set up for that right now. So what we want to do is go up here. And where it says 2.2 here, right, it has digital inputs, digital outputs, and it says 2416. Go ahead and double click there. This screen is going to pop open. Okay, you're going to click on the addresses tab. What you want to do is uncheck the system default for both the inputs and the outputs. The inputs we want to start at zero, okay, and the outputs we want to start at four. Okay, notice it's going to tell us that if we're starting at 0, we're going to end at 2. So we're going to start with I like 0, 0.0. We're going to start with output Q 4.0. Okay, that'll make more sense as we move along. So we hit OK. And now we've properly configured everything. We have one last thing to do. We have to save this. If we go up here, and notice there's two different saves. There's save, there's save and compile. Go ahead and click on the save and compile. Okay, that's going to save everything. And now once we've done this, go ahead and close this window, just this one, right here by using the X. 
All right, so now when I go down here on the left-hand side of the screen and I cl click through everything, it has all my different pieces that I need. And we're going to learn how to actually set up your programming. We'll do that in the next video here. So 